morning my friends it is early in the morning here at the shop and I've got something a little offbeat to show you this is a 1985 Cadillac Seville you can see it's on the trailer just acquired this vehicle it's not something I would normally pursue but this one was particularly interesting of course I remember these cars from growing up my best friend's mom would pick us up after school in one of these hers was burgundy this one is a dark gray. A little bit of a challenge to get it on the trailer because of this mess going on. Could not find the key for the hubcap, so we just sort of had to go with what we could do. But anyway, what's interesting about this car is that it has 22,000 miles on it. I'm not sure I can get this door open, but nope. 22,000 miles and has been sitting since 1994. Let's see. It's going to be tight. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the appeal here. Sitting since 94, and yeah, it's uh, obviously a 4100 car. But there's things about this car that just really can't be reproduced. I mean, look at the steering wheel. The the elegant style seating which came standard in these Seville's during this year dash isn't cracked it's got the digital display which is kind of retro cool you know it's just I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it but just sort of a neat project here just had to be saved so that's what we're gonna hopefully do I was going to look at the date cut on the tires. They've got to be from the early 90s, I'm guessing. The one that went flat literally came apart. The car was bought new in Shiraw, South Carolina. Good place for a car to be from. And as I was hooking up the toe straps and winching it on, I could see that the undercarriage was just super clean. Oh, let's get here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, or how much you can see right now, but... It's very clean under there. Of course, I'll have better access to it once we get it off the trailer. My trusty tow vehicle, 6.0 Escalade. So I just wanted to do a quick video. What's neat about this car is the top. It's got the Roadster top. The uh, vinyl sort of material. And it's in really good shape. I think it'll clean up nicely. All the stitching is intact. Stuff like this had a hard time surviving in the south. The heat really, really got to them. But it looks like it's original lacquer paint on this car. And uh, I suspect even this would come back some. We'll see, we'll keep you updated on this one. Just kind of a cool car, fun side project.